Welcome back to VFX for the Indie Filmmaker. In this module, we're going to be going over stabilizing footage using After Effects. So if you haven't already done so, you can go ahead and download the footage we'll be using in this in the module and open up After Effects. Once downloaded, just hit New Composition from Footage. Bring the footage in. And there we go. Now, this is a little too long and as I see showing the frames from the entire shoot for that day so we're going to go ahead and fix this first if you're not seeing frames if you're seeing time code instead you can hit control and left click and it'll switch between time code and frames and in your composition settings let's double check the width and height and the frame rate but right down here at start frame you can hit one and now we're starting at frame one and like I said in other modules, you're working with frames is extremely important in VFX. So you know exactly how many frames and what frames you're using. So we'll go ahead and start with one. Now we don't need all this. Let's just go ahead and grab four seconds. That'll be plenty of this highly unstabilized footage. Ramp top to work area. And there we go. Four seconds of unstabilized footage. Now the importance of stabilizing this footage other than our actresses needing to be stabilized when we render this out in Blender, they can't be bouncing up and down in their chairs. To do any work in here, whether it's rotoscoping, keying, you really want your footage to be stabilized before you even start. And you can see these stools are definitely going to have to be rotoscoped out a little bit because keying itself isn't going to bring that dark stuff out. So let's go ahead and stabilize this footage so we can work on it. So in order to do that, go over to effects controls and let's add Boris Effects Mocha Pro. Now there is a free version of After Effects and I believe you can do all this stuff with the free version. Um, but this program is definitely worth buying. So we'll go ahead and use the Mocha Pro. Now Mocha Pro requires you to use your full res stuff. We've got our timeline set on half, but it's gonna ask you to uh, switch over to full res anyway. So switch to full res. And once it opens, let's go ahead and play through to get this footage in the buffer. It might take a second, but this is 4K footage, so it's Pretty beefy. All right, we're in the buffer. Now, if you're not seeing this window right here, you're probably in essentials, which is fine. You can do everything we're about to do in the essentials panel, but uh, the classic view offers a lot more info right up front. So the concept behind this is we want to track this footage as much as possible to get the most stabilized clip that we can get. In the way Mocha Pro works, it doesn't work on a point level. It works on a planar level, so we're going to get a lot more information out of these pixels in here than we would on a point tracker. So before we start putting our X blinds down, let's go ahead and kind of analyze this footage and see what's going on. So we don't make any X blinds that's going to disrupt that track for our stabilization. And one, obviously we don't want to track anything around our actresses that are moving. That includes their shadows. And the only other thing that's really moving, not moving, but changing in this is these lights are actually flickering a little bit. So these reflections in here are actually giving you pixel changes, which might throw off some of that track. So we're going to avoid some of that. So let's go ahead and click our x tool and left click and just start Putting our placement down. And when you're finished, right click and it'll end that B spline. And once you got it done, you can move all this stuff around. You can bring these in and out. But that looks pretty good for that. Go 
go ahead and stick right there. Now, this layer is what the stabilization module is going to kind of use when it stabilizes the footage. Once we track, it's going to use that track data all inside here to stabilize the footage, which this is probably good enough, but we want it even better. And the way the stabilization works, it works off one layer. So let's get one, go ahead and name this track. Let's change my color because I always make my tracks green. And we're going to add more on this specific, this, this one layer right here. So in order to do that, just click on your create B spline and select the one that's got the little plus so we can add and we can go ahead and add another one. So void her shadow. Let's avoid that reflection. And we're going to go ahead and add another one up here. So we can grab all this juicy info. And we're going to add another one down here. I'm not going to get too low because I know this track is going to force it off screen. So I'm going to keep it up here a little high. Keep it out of those shadows. And you might think that there's not much information in here, but for Mocha Pro, this is this plenty of data information in this seemingly empty space. And we're going to add one more right here in the middle. We're going to use some of these wrinkles in this green screen to kind of track some of that data make sure she's not going in it all right so once you've got all your spline set go ahead and track forward now first before we get there right here you can see we've got options for translation scale rotation shear perspective mesh we definitely don't need a mesh but we're going to leave all these on translation scale rotation and shear even though there's not much shearing going on we'll leave it on anyway so track forward. Now again, you might think this is taking a while, but it's tracking all this information inside every single one of these. which is a lot of data. All right, so there's a track. Let's just play it and make sure it's not slipping, especially down here towards the end or off to the sides. Make sure these lights aren't affecting anything up here and it looks good. All right, with this track still selected, let's go ahead and click on the stabilize button. Now down here, it automatically selects the X and Y translation. And you've also got options for rotation, zoom, make sure all this stuff. Definitely we want rotation and probably zoom. I'm probably moving in and out, in and out a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and just hit all motion. And down here, this is how many frames it's gonna calculate through the whole thing to kind of smooth itself out to see where that footage needs to remain to be stabilized. So we're gonna leave it at 10 for right now and see, see what we get. So let's go ahead and click the render forward button. play our footage now it's pretty stable but I do see over time it is rising and lowering a little bit you can really see it right right in there it's going up and down now we want to fix that and correct that and the reason that is is we only use 10 frames for Mocha Pro to figure out where say these stools are supposed to be but if we increase this, let's let's give it 24 frames. 
so I can really see what's going on with this whole footage. We're going to retract that. that issue right there so this is some really stable footage right here so there's no movement they're sitting in there well beautiful so to get this data out you can either hit export and export this to after effects but we're not going to do that we're just going to go ahead and save and also by the way before i get out if you see right down here how your footage is moving around my shots I don't need the bottoms all I need is these actresses everything else is going to be keyed out but if you need that full frame footage if you work with these borders right here it'll fix all that so you don't have this border moving around your footage all right so save exit and right now still we have this crazy unstabilized footage but if we go up to module renders select our stabilize click the render button we now have stabilized footage so if we ran preview that that looks good now this footage is going to be much easier to work with than this footage when it comes to rotoscoping or doing anything we, we, we have to do and once your footage is all stabilized and good to go go ahead and pop it in your render queue and render it out now the problem with after effects is i don't have the option to export out b raw footage which is what i'm working with i would have to export it out in a different format probably exrs if i'm really going to export this out but it's up to you whatever your project requires you can export it out however you want so that way you can bring it back into DaVinci and work with it and do all your key or key it in here. This is why in the next module, I'm going to be covering stabilizing in DaVinci using Fusion. That way all your footage is in one location, one place. You don't have to bounce back and forth. You can do all your stabilization work and it's non-destructive and there's no exporting out afterwards. It's just done. So in the next module, we'll be covering stabilizing in DaVinci using Fusion. If you like this video and would like access to the full course, you can visit my pay hit page, link in the description. For only $26, you're getting access to six hours of instructional video, as well as access to footage, Blender project files, and other pre-production file downloads. The VFX for the Indie Filmmaker course covers complete instruction from pre-production to project delivery and includes modules such as keying and compositing, creating and rendering 3D sets, and everything else you'll need to know to go from charging hundreds of dollars per project to thousands of dollars per project.